show you guys some settlement and some foundation problems in this house and the cause is pretty surprising so check this out first got here I noticed that this whole deck was sloping down towards this corner so right here is kind of a problem and this roof structure up here is you know definitely sagging at the top right here walked over here and I noticed underneath here there's an old screw jack under here so they're definitely attempting to re-level the home Okay, so as you can see here, they got expanding foam in these deteriorated mortar joints. Never do that. You've got a crack here, and then there's a pretty significant crack right over there. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a big crack in the foundation that's been patched right there. If you look up here to the roof, you can see this roof line sags down just a little bit on this corner. So something right here on this corner of the house settled. In this corner of the deck it's settled and I'm gonna show um, I'll show you what's inside and then we'll go in the basement I'll show you what's causing show you so what's the number one cause of settlement like this moisture why because dry soil is stable wet soil is unstable think about it when you step in the mud your foot sinks in the mud when you step on dry soil it doesn't sink now the one thing that I noticed in here is that this corner this is the corner right here with that settlement the floor is pretty level in here which surprised me because I'm thinking to myself if the door frames are racked and the whole house is settled, why is the floor so straight? We come down here to the basement. This is that corner that's settling and you'll see a temporary jack post. Never use those. We can argue about that later. But you're gonna notice up here on the floor, they've got this girder running across here that they've added. That is only holding up the floor joists. So what they did was they re-leveled the floor, but not the house. But let me show you. You can see the cracks in the floor. And right here is where the floor starts to slope down toward that corner. If you look, you can see all the moisture staining right here in this corner. This is where it's all settling. Now, if you really read the cracks, there's a crack here that comes down this wall. And then when you come over here, You've got a crack right here, and then if you look at it, it comes all the way down. So what happened here is from right there on that crack to right there on that crack, this whole corner settled. Now when I was outside, the grade looked pretty good. It was positive grade, wasn't terrible, a little flat near the deck. Maybe they did some remediation of the grade out there. Probably, possibly, but then I looked in here, and if you notice, you got bell and spigot, old iron waste pipes. And if you look down here, you'll start to see where the rust is dripping on the floor. And then it gets wet. And it gets even wetter. And you can actually see water dripping. And then over here, you can see where this pipe right here, those rust scabs, are literally leaking right on the ground. So isn't it reasonable to assume that this pipe leaking over long periods of time can saturate the soil right here at the footing perimeter. I think it's totally reasonable to think that could be happening. And if nothing else, that's a contributing factor. Was it probably moisture from the outside and groundwater? Yeah, probably. They probably fixed the grade. But the fact that this is continuing, I believe is related to this waste pipe being in such poor condition. And the reason that I think that is because if you look, when you do patches and they re-crack, that tells you the house is still moving. You see this patch is also re-cracked. That one is re-cracked. So I don't know, uh, it would be reasonable to assume that if they improved the grade, stabilized the condition, put a screw jack underneath one portion of it, that they would have believed that they had solved the problem and they would have patched all these cracks in here. But it's still settled. And I look inside here and I see water dripping out of this pipe, causing saturation at the foundation. I think it's actually the pipe that's causing the continued movement. What do you guys think? You think it's that pipe leaking that's causing this problem? Chime in in the comments below. Okay, and don't forget to hit the like button there, the little heart. Click that. 